I love what I do, and I think that makes it really hard because at least when you're not um, in love with your work, or like, it's hard because I'm someone with chronic depression. Like, I got major depressive disorder bordering on severe, and it sucks because I'm also someone lucky enough to get to pursue my hopes and dreams and make money from that mm -hmm. and be respected and celebrated. loved. Celebrated. Right, and celebrated. Right? Um, and so I think that I, it's almost like I want to restructure my life so that my misery feels justified because it's too hard to admit that even though I have everything I've ever wanted, there is still just like a deeper sadness. But that's the mind and the mind lies. And you're in a constant dance with that all day, every day. Where do you think your depression comes from? <sighs> well, twofold, fivefold. One, genetics. Within that, three other tiers of factors. Two, situation. Like, uh, I think that there's a lot of forms of depression. Like for me, I both am chemically predisposed, but then also circumstantially predisposed. Um, traumas. Traumas, et cetera, you know? And it's amazing because some of the most successful people I have ever met are so deeply depressed. Mm -hmm. And it's such a gift in a lot of ways. How? Because it's like the only thing that feels happy is like real happiness and like I'm so like authentic lucky. Happiness. Yeah. So you get to feel true authentic happiness when you feel it. Yes and uh, that is the only time I feel happy. Like there is no casual joy mm -hmm. and because of that it makes you chase like a deep level of contentment and I feel really lucky for that. It's like having this really hyper-aware internal compass that your life has to have meaning.